We need to let the light shine forth. We need to reach out. We need to kind of move out of some comfort zones, maybe. This is the year to do that and stand as a witness of the Savior. What has happened to you that has filled you with light or with a vision, maybe, of who you are? We walked from Farmington to Salt Lake Temple. It was 22 miles. Was there anybody who struggled? Yeah. The people that didn't train as much uh, struggled a little bit more, but we all kind of helped them and they helped each other. Everyone was able to finish. What did you learn about yourself or what did you learn about others? It was awesome. And I learned that I need to um, rely on others more and that I'm never gonna be alone and someone's always gonna be there, whether they're in my ward or my family and they're gonna be there to support me in everything that I do. So are, do you feel like you're in training right now for something magnificent in the future? Remember that, because the world will tell you now's the time to goof off and to just have fun and, and ignore the standards. But really, when you're prepared, you can do hard things. What happens when we partake of the sacrament? We renew our, our baptismal covenant. Now, what's the promise if you if you keep your part of the bargain what's the promise that's given to you always have his spirit to be with us always have his spirit to be with us is that an amazing promise so how many of you have had a successful week where you've been able to keep that covenant all week long in every word you've said in every action i keep trying every week i always am thinking how would he do it what would he say Am I becoming more like you? And then I'm always listening for the whisperings of the Spirit to guide me. Do you do that too? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Can I just testify to you that he does? He's directed my path. It hasn't been easy. There have been hills, there have been injuries, there have been hurt legs and hurt hearts, but he is always there. I also want to testify to you that the path of virtue is the only path you want to be on, because if you're on that path, you're following the Savior. You'll be prepared and worthy to do your greatest work. We are rising and becoming saviors on Mount Zion every time we build a temple, every time we search out a family name, and every time we go to the temple to do baptisms for the dead because you are doing something for them that they can't do for themselves. We have so much confidence in you. We love you so much. Heavenly Father loves you. You have a great work to do. And this is your moment to arise and shine forth. I bear you that testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.